Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this 555 piston door. Go through. Push it again. Close it up. Then you can open it again. Get out. Then do that. So yeah. Let's show you. And let's get in. To the video to show you how to make it all right so first we want to lay down five blocks of your choice place down right side on all those then put dispensers droppers doesn't really matter there's not going to be anything going in there and that's just so it actually activates the um, observers then place observers over all of those Sticky pistons over all of those. Mess that up a lot. Five slime or honey. It just needs to be alternating. Like it needs to be alternating like that. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, five. One, two, three. And then another five. Should make it like that. And that is just the pusher mechanism. Now, on the other side of that, we want to place five observers, one block away, five sticky pistons, mess that up so badly again. Then, honey, wherever there's slime, and slime, wherever there's honey. Just like this. Doesn't really matter, there could also be slime here, as long as there is honey there. And then that is your flying machine for it. That is the actual door. Now you just want to put your blocks of choice all over the slime and honey on the front part. Because that is your actual door. Because you do not want just slime and honey. Those break instantly. You want to have it at least semi-cool. Then we want to place a dispenser here. Dispenser here. Wait, no. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. Then t two observers. Um, one of that. Um, an observer again. One more. Wait, no. If it wanted to be that, and a redstone block, which I think is going to activate it, so I. Yeah, it's going to activate it. So we need it to be right there because once, you know, actually, no, this, this dispenser needs to be here. Then with an observer, that, and then sticky, eh, sticky piston, redstone block, because when that goes down, it's going to activate it. If it's one block away, it'll activate. Then... One more there, and there. Then, um, since it's five, we want to go six blocks up. So, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. So, no, that needs to be that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do that, that, so no, that. That and if you want, I can test it out real quick. I heard clicks, so I know mine is good. Obviously, this is still not working. We need to go two blocks that way, um, and then place five dispensers like this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna place them like this just for my personal sake because I like to see them going up. Then put redstone dust all over them. And that is your working door. Now you just want to put a button here. That'll work. Press it again. And it works. Obviously, you could fix it up if you wanted to put the button there. You just have to put that observer going downwards like that. 
Because I mean, you wouldn't be able to go in there, so that would only activate those. 